welcome. So today's video is pretty self-explanatory because you literally write in the title, I'm making a chocolate peanut butter pie for Thanksgiving. Back when my channel was like Enzo's Kitchen, I made one like two years ago or whatever. Don't go looking for that video because you won't find anything because I privated it. Pri private did it and now it's no longer there thanksgiving is coming up when you're watching this it's in like two days i think so i thought we should get festive and make a chocolate peanut butter pie um, i also asked on instagram for questions just stick around just sit back relax and enjoy the video that's all i have to say let's get into it i want to try a tiktok transition where they're like did that even do anything so i'm trying a new setup for this video the audio could be really bad if it is deal with it i do not care. So usually I get Oreos and like crumble them up and put them in the pie thing to make a crust. But fun fact, we bought Oreos a few days ago um, so I can make the crust for this pie. We almost finished the Oreos already. There's like a few left, so we can't use them, but my sister had a good idea for an alternative. We have this chocolate peanut butter. Why do I say peanut butter so weird? We have this chocolate peanut butter brownie mix, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the brownies and crumble those up and make that the crust. Is this pie gonna be way too overpowering and way too much peanut butter? Probably. I feel like it'll still be good. Before we get into the questions, I have something fun planned out. We are going to Rate popular Thanksgiving food. So first of all, turkey. Classic. Turkey's okay, it's a bit dry. Like I'll eat it on Thanksgiving obviously, cause like one, it's food, I love food. Second of all, like it's Thanksgiving. Third of all, like- It's still pretty good. Next up, mashed potatoes. A solid 12 out of 10. Mashed potatoes are really good, but they have to be done right. If they're not done right, mm, I mean, I'll still eat them. Well, it's like another Thanksgiving food. Um, so I'm sick of writing Thanksgiving food, so now we will go to the questions on Instagram. Also, I'm going to preheat the oven to, say, 350, I think. Okay, I'm being very low energy in this video. We need to, like, step it up. Questions on Instagram. Did you ever expect to make it this far when starting your YouTube channel? See, the thing is, I've always kind of been like a fake it till you make it kind of mentality where it's kind of like, I always just sort of act like I'm some sort of famous YouTuber or whatever, when in reality, I know I'm not. But before when I had like 500 subscribers, I still like had a posting schedule and I was super self-disciplined because I didn't really have the mentality that was like, oh, you don't have that many subscribers, just don't post. It's not that big of a deal. I've always been like super like self-disciplined or tried to be at least. But like not to sound cocky, but maybe I did think that like my channel would get somewhere eventually. I just didn't think this soon. I thought it would be like when I'm in high school. Why did you want to start YouTube slash who was your inspiration? I don't think there's like a specific person who made me want to start my YouTube channel. I don't even remember who I like used to watch before I started my channel, so I can't like name any names specifically. A few of my inspirations now and like over the past year and all of that. Hold on, let me wash my hands real quick. So definitely people like Emma Chamberlain, Danny Gonzalez, Curtis Connor, Nicole Raffi, Ryan Trahan. Like overall, those are the people who inspired me, but like there's a ton of like other people who inspired me for like different things related to YouTube, for example, Antonio Gar- Rude. For example, Antonio Garza, like I obviously make very different content from her, but I think that her editing, I've definitely taken inspiration from. Ooh, somebody said, would you ever go vegan? If I ever were to like live alone when I'm older, definitely, because I think that it could be kind of a cool lifestyle to try, and like obviously the meat industry is definitely not like a, or not the meat industry, just like the animal products industry in general, is not the best industry to be constantly supporting. When I'm like this young and like I live with my family and all of that, it's kind of hard to go vegan because... What's your favorite video you've made so far? I usually choose so many, but maybe I'll just choose one today. I don't really like any of my videos. <laughs> I like some of the shifting ones. I like the video where I dye my hair. Just kind of like lighthearted stuff like that. I think it's super fun. Videos I don't really have that much of like a topic behind it. Well, the shifting ones definitely do. But like I still love to film those. What's your 28th photo in your camera roll? <laughs> Oh, it's this picture, which I think is actually perfect because it's a sneak peek to this Friday's video. It's this picture. I'll insert it right here for like a split second. Like literally get so excited for Friday's video. Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern time, hopefully. Who's your celebrity crush at the moment? You might know her from TikTok. Her name's Lola Clark. She's the one who did the like, you dig, you gon' choose me, babe. <laughs> Telepathic abilities or time travel. I guess that's like a topic that I should talk about. My friend Anna and I, it's honestly not a coincidence at this point. Literally, there have been so many moments where we're where we'll just say the exact same thing at the exact same time and it has happened too many times for it to be a coincidence. Honestly, same with my sister. I feel like it's just kind of scary because we'll just like say the exact same thing or she'll start saying something and I'll be like, I was literally just thinking that. 
So I actually really like this angle. I just hope that the audio isn't really bad because that would be really frustrating. To all of my fellow tech people out there, literally recommend me some microphones for cameras that aren't super expensive. I have the like Rode Video Mic Go, I think it's called. Recently it's been making like <laughs> random noises. Somebody says, have you shifted yet? Let me just give you the whole update. I always make simple yes or no questions like this. It's really long. Like I mentioned, I was taking a break until last Friday night. Last Friday night. I couldn't fall asleep. I was doing a great job visualizing though. What I do for meditation now is I play the movie on my phone, but mute it and then listen to a subliminal. And my thing on Friday night is I was like, I think the reason why I haven't shifted is because I can't fall asleep. And I can't fall asleep because I'm lying on my back or laying on my back and I don't usually fall asleep that way. I don't even know what position I sleep in. I think I sleep on my side. Like, so I tried on Saturday night to do it. I fell right asleep because I think I fall asleep too easily in that position. So honestly, I'm just gonna keep trying. My parents are like howling at some movie upstairs. I don't know if I've made it clear yet, but I haven't shifted. Wow, really? I just kind of went into depth of how I haven't shifted, but I'm determined and It says do not eat the raw batter, but like, I just don't care. And the thing is, remember when I said like, I'm gonna shift in November? It's November 16th right now. It's kind of scary, like November's actually coming to a close soon. Somebody said, how tall are you? I'm 6'1". I don't know how it happened. Nobody else in my family is like that tall. What meditation do you use? In basically almost all of my shifting videos, I always like the Spotify playlist I use. When's your birthday? April 26th. What method do you think is best for you? I would typically say the Raven method. Like right now, I'm not really using a specific method. What I'm doing is just laying down in a starfish position and then visualizing everything and like putting it in my mind and like really trying to get my five senses. And then I start to get like dizzy and all of that. And that just keeps happening until eventually I'm like, why am I not falling asleep? And then I look at the clock and it's been way too long and I'm like, I'm so tired, you know what? I'm just going to bed. There's a video to this recipe that I always watch because I'm definitely more of like a visual learner, but it's kind of confusing because the written down recipe, it's different. So I'm just gonna kind of combine both. Do your friends slash family think it's weird that you blew up because of reality shifting? Fun fact, my mom has to approve every single one of my videos. And when I first showed her my first reality shifting video, she almost like didn't approve it because she was like, what is this? Because like I had never really made anything like it before. It was just a topic I was interested in and I just filmed the video and I was like, why not? And I kind of had to explain to her like what it was and eventually she agreed and then it kind of blew up and she was like, wow, okay. My dad, I don't think he even knows like what it is at all. I remember when it started to like gain a lot of views and all of that. I remember one time I walked in and I was like, it hit 20,000 views, and he was like, oh, the reality TV one? And I was like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yep, that one. I'll start off with about that much, and I can always add more, but I'm gonna go get the brownies. Uh, alrighty. I'm honestly gonna give them like four more minutes because that's what my heart's telling me to do. Let me continue answering this because I know you guys are probably like, stop playing with me, just please answer the question. Actually, no one probably cares, but I will continue. I haven't talked to many of my like other friends about it. I'm not really sure what they think. I think that if I did make this many reality shifting videos at 500 subscribers still, people would be like, what the heck? But it's the fact that these videos are doing well that I think maybe gets people to take them a little bit more serious. From their perspective, like I would do that too. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I understand that. Who's your favorite Harry Potter character? That's a hard question. Like, I like Hermione, but she's too main character vibes. I don't like Harry. I don't like him. He radiates so much main character vibes, and he knows he's the main character. That little brat, like, he knows he's the main character. Ron and Hermione. I also think Draco has a fun, evil personality. I always like the villains in the movie. Well, like, he's not really the villain. If you don't do YouTube or social media as a job, what will you do? My goal is to, like, m make a movie. That's why I think Melanie Martinez is a huge inspiration to me, because she... Because she wrote, directed, and starred in her own film. Okay, shut up. Do you think you're not going to shift until 2021? Honestly, I'm gonna say no, because we gotta have that positive mindset. Do you still skate? Yes. I'm just not good. I can't even do an ollie or anything. Somebody said, how did you find out about shifting? My friend Claire actually like said something about it and I remember looking it up on YouTube and then I watched an entire video about it. Yeah, so I actually didn't see it off of TikTok, which is where a lot of people saw it. Somebody said winter or summer, definitely summer, but I think fall is my favorite season. Would you ever shift to Hogwarts? And if I ever actually shift, can I add you to my script? <laughs> Please do, I would love to be in your desired reality. I mean, I would definitely like shift to Hogwarts. I already tried, but it just did not go that well. This is also another question that I think I got where where are you gonna shift to next? So after I go to the shallows, I wanna go to the 75th Hunger Games and go in the cool um, arena in Hawaii, or it's, well, it's filmed in Hawaii. I mean, it's in 
10 M, obviously. What's your favorite pasta shape? Rigatoni. My sister said rigatoni, but we don't care. <laughs> no, <laughs> what are your 15 personalities? I don't know if I can list all 15, but don't worry, they're there. So I think that there's one that's a very like calm, collected, like mature version of myself. There's a very sad version of myself. My personalities are like my clothes. I have a lot of them, but I choose to wear the same three like every day. That's not true. I actually switch it up every 12 seconds. Okay, now I'm gonna finish making the filling. If anyone actually cares about what you're gonna do in the recipe, I'll leave the link in the description so you can like follow along with that or something. I finished it. Here it is. It honestly like doesn't look that good, but I think it's gonna taste really good. Like it actually looks really bad, but like this is a peanut butter brownie crumble and the filling is literally so good. Because I was saying how the recipe was all confusing, I actually made my own recipe. I forgot to film after, but the pie was really good. Um, that's all I have to say, goodbye. Road trip vibes. Feels weird me not being at my desk. Okay, bye. With that being said, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy this video, also give it a thumbs up. I post every Tuesday and Friday, so I'll see you next Friday. But you better watch this Friday's video. You, you better, better watch, watch it. it. Bye. Mm -hmm.